Oh yeah, I grabbed your arm to pull you one way. <laughs> I was like, no, James, this way. He he froze. <laughs> like, I was like, uh, why is he? <laughs> what is this feeling? I don't want it to stop. You know. <laughs> We met in JC, that was about a decade ago. We were never really physically attracted to each other, yeah. you know, like we, we liked hanging out, we liked talking to each other. And then I guess uni happened. Yeah, one day the lines just started blurring and then you're just like... Oh yeah, I grabbed your arm to pull you one way. <laughs> I was like, no James, this way, he, he froze. <laughs> like, I was like, uh, why is he... <laughs> what is this feeling? I don't want it to stop, you know? <laughs> All of our dates would center around like his gym sessions. I think eventually that's how I kind of got pulled into it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I used to get her like a lot of gym clothes <laughs> and like started. straps and belt and just just all these little accessories, you know. Yeah, and like as the girl, like oh my god, I have a full outfit now. I have to use it, right? So <laughs> like okay, let's just try out this gym thing. Being on the treadmill, right, where all the other girls are generally, like it's just familiarity, you know, things that you are comfortable with doing. Like you know, you're not gonna make a fool out of yourself. After a while, he's like, you know, you kind of have to like try other stuff with me, you know, you're paying for a membership, I think it's time to try the weights or something. And like basically he just let me shadow him. So we had this like uh, friendly competition, we called it a mock meet, right? So mm -hmm. we came to deadlifts and then um, I think, I remember at the time she was probably doing around 100 kilos uh, for working sets. We worked up to that and then we increased it to like 110 and she did one rep and it looked easy, you know, like, yeah. okay, let's do 120 and it looked easy again. So we're like, okay, you know what, let's put uh, 140. And then she pulled it and we're just like, that's a lot of weight. I'm pretty sure that should be a record. So I, I went to check up like on, on, online and I was like, you know what, the national record is 125 kilos. You know, you just pulled that uh, in the gym, yeah. like, without much preparation. He figured, like, you know, I think it's time to get, like, a powerlifting coach. And I told him it had to be someone I was fully comfortable with, because so far he's the only guy who can tolerate my nonsense and coach me and, like, you know, like, lock me into shape. I think on that day I bombed, like, the first lift, right? Yeah, the I very first out. squat, oh she, she, she blanked out. Like, we yeah. had practiced the cues in training, like, uh, a, a hundreds of times. Yeah. I guess it's the nerves, like, yeah. because it's her first meet, it's the first lift. So many eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> so for my first attempt, because for squat, like, there'll be cues you have to listen from the referee. Because I missed the cue, like, that lift was disqualified. I think back then I was just like, oh my god, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> like, you only have two options now to, like, bomb the rest of the way or, like, you know, turn things around. The so deadlift is like my event, you know, and like it was my time to shine. <laughs> yeah, I think my first attempt managed to break the the national record already. It was the most electrifying feeling. It turned out to be a really good meet after that. Yeah. That set the tone, I think, for my competing journey. Like it felt so good because I think it's been a while before someone different breaking their own record. So yeah, I've been hooked since then. <laughs> yeah, after she did three competitions, she's yeah. like, you're competing. I feel like he had potential. Like, he knew how everything worked. He knew the cues, he knows all the technicalities of being a powerlifting athlete. And I felt like it was it was time for him to manifest all that. I mean, I, I used to be the kind of guy, when I, when I compete, I want to win. I looked at the numbers and like, I figured, okay, I'm not even close. So it's not really something that I wanted to do at the time. I just felt like I wasn't strong enough because I mean, I'm not, I'm not, gifted like she is. I wanted him to feel that immense satisfaction of competing regardless of the results, you know, like going through it with, with everyone else competing even if it meant they were your competitors, like yeah. the camaraderie that you meet backstage like before the platform is so great and you become really good friends, right? You ended yeah. up like meeting really great people who continue becoming your friends now. Taking our relationship into the gym I think was a it was a process in itself. Yeah, it led to yeah. its own fair share of fights. We'd disappear for like an hour and my friends were like, hey, you'll fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we took, oh. yeah, we took a break yes. outside. Because <laughs> yeah, I know, like, 
I'm the kind of there's a problem. I want to talk this out now. I don't want to drag it out. But to him, he wants to get his workout done. But I'm like, no, 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 no. Nothing gets done until we resolve this. So we'll take a time out and then like, okay, we'll go back in. So many of those. But uh, we have grown from that. Mm. We give advice to people now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could see like physical changes to my body and I guess through the years that mm. you know to that like you know I started gaining more mass and to them like it's, it's something very foreign like wow Anna your, your body like a man now eh? you know like, like I, I mean even if you show this to my family they'll probably laugh because like my dad would be like yeah Anna you know your arm like man I'm like yeah yours like woman you know that kind of thing so yeah we think jabs at each other like that you know I always just like ask her like are you happy doing what you do you know like I love you that's all that matters you love what you <laughs> You love what you're doing, then they'll see that this this makes you happy. Mm. And that's the end of that. Yeah. yeah. True.